So the next views we are going to acquire are the sub-coastal views. There is not only one view as you might know. Uh, there are several views and we start with the sub-coastal for chamber view. What we have to do first is we have to use more depth. It's approximately in the range of 20 centimeters. As you can see on the left lower uh, range of the screen, we always need enough depth to really visualize the entire heart and the entire pericardium. So we grab the transducer from above and try to visualize the heart optimally. We can also broaden the sector a little bit and then we can try to get additional views. So the first view is just a normal plane towards the heart and as we rotate the transducer first, the marker pointing to the left side of the patient, so away from us. If you rotate the transducer to a short axis view, as we would know it from the peristernal view, we can also acquire the aortic valve in a short axis in a subcoastal approach. If we use color Doppler here, we can visualize the IVC as well as parts of the SVC, so the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. We can display here the pulmonic trunk, which gives us actually a nice view of the pulmonic trunk. So as you might recall from the compact echo course, here you can also display these views from a subcoastal approach. If we rotate the transducer more towards the head, we can see the IVC and the entering of the IVC to the right atrium. And here we again can try to locate the SVC as well. It's not always that simple, but normally the SVC is a continuation of the IVC. So you can try to achieve this view from a subcoastal approach. To measure the IVC, we have several options. First, we can just do it in a B mode image. We can also use the M mode. And in M mode, it's displayed how the IVC changes over time in regards to respiration. So if he breathes, then we see a movement. If he doesn't breathe, we don't see. We can also adjust the depth to visualize the IVC even closer. And we see the IVC on the M mode is this dark line in the center. Now, as he's breathing, there is a motion of the IVC, which is absolutely normal. So it should collapse a little bit during inspiration. As he's a young, healthy individual, the IVC looks rather prominent. If you then rotate or move the transducer towards the other side, so it's not a rotation, so from the IVC, which is located in the right side of the body to the aorta, we can visualize the mesenteric artery, the superior mesenteric artery and the celiac trunk, as well in this view from a subcoastal approach. Always keep in mind to adjust the depth so that you're optimally located towards the heart and then also try to rotate the transducer even more then you have a view which almost looks like a peristernal long axis view as seen over here. This is the aortic valve. This is the left ventricle, the right ventricle. So you can even differentiate those views from a peristernal, uh, from a subcoastal approach.